Hi, my name is Sylvia Chenault. I'm an artist and a crafter, and this is my friend, Alexa Westerfield, Swell Designer, and I also work for I Love to Create. And we're going to show you today some of our cool fashion graffiti products on some really cool pillows. So, check it out. So, um, tell us about what you did there. Okay, well we practiced a little bit just so we could get a feel for the different products on and on the t-shirt fabric since we're going to be working with that t-shirt fabric on the pillows. And um, we used stencils here with this black um, fabric spray paint. And you can see here there's some of the dye that's come through that comes into these little um, bottles that is powder. You just add water, which is really nice, and they have little spouts at the top. It's one, you can just, one step dye? Yeah, one step dye. It's really nice. These are the big fat markers. These little um, lines here, the blues, and sometimes you'll see like a hot pink poking through. And then some of these like transparent colors that are yellows and blues, like a turquoise or um, golden rod. Those are all from the um, paint taggers. Let's get started on a project. Um, we uh, decided we were going to go ahead and do some work on this pillow, which basically is is the cover we made out of a t-shirt. We just upcycled that pillow. I have here are some really awesome stencils. I'm going to go ahead and use, you can see here, there's a heart, headphones, some different lettering. Um, You've got a really cool looking little car there and a peace sign. And I'm going to use this little uh, crown. And basically I'm going to put the stencil on here. Kind of just, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on here using this fabric spray paint. And I'm just going to see what happens. By spraying it. You can get, whoops, there it goes. Spray paint is great and it's non-toxic. Now, there's our little example. See, it's fuzzy. Now, the, that's because I left it loose. And now we have this paint that's left on this side, so I'm going to just flip it over and do the negative of the image on it. There cool. You go. And now I'm going to do the same thing, the opposite. So this is this part here just like we did over here, and the negative. And there you go. There's your first beginning of your, of your pillow. Now, these come in different colors, so it's kind of fun if you want to get different colors and just kind of go crazy with those. But this is something similar, but it's a fabric paint cannon. You can actually change the colors. And it comes with refillable cannons oh, yeah, that are okay. available. So this is the refillable mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. So you can change the colors in it, and that's really nice so you're not wasting more. I'm going to see what this does as I spray it and just kind of give it a little, a little extra more color to the pillow. Oh, that's cool, Hearts. Yeah. Just give it a light coat. I like how it kind of has different size things on there. It feels, this looks really even more like um, paint cans, especially when they get down to the point where they're almost empty. They do that. So that's Will you show how to nice. pump it up? Sure, yeah. You have this little thing that just slips right over the top of it, and you just press it down like about six, seven times, and that gives the pressure into the bottle so that this, the paint will come out. What do you want me to try out? Some of these paints here? Yeah. Like these paint taggers? The paint taggers. These are really cool. These are like lip gloss. They actually look like lip gloss here. You can see here there's, it has the little tip that the paint just comes right out, just like regular old lip gloss that you see at the store. Uh-oh. Somebody's been tagging. They're coming after us. <laughs> comes right out, just like uh, regular lip gloss, and you can just put this on. And this paint is awesome because it's really, it's transparent. So whatever paints you have underneath kind of come through or whatever work you have underneath, but you can also kind of squiggle and write with it, with it and do different designs. It looks like it has kind of like a glossy slash matte quality, like it changes. Yeah, it does. We are, um, just kind of playing around here and we don't know exactly what we're doing <laughs> but that's <laughs> kind of what it's gonna look that's like, like the beauty of the graffiti that's the fun of it yeah exactly <laughs> like I don't really have a plan here I don't really know how this is gonna look or turn out um, but that's the fun of just kind of playing around with it and just, you're making graffiti graffiti is not uh, a perfect art and these are blendable so that's one thing I discovered so you can take 
a different color, you can mix it with the colors that already are there so you, so you can take it and kind of create your own shade with it. Look how nice that green is, that's pretty. You can write your name with it, you know, say I'm gonna write my name, like say this is a princess pillow, so I'm, I'm the princess. Okay, write my name. Sylvia. And like a little heart over here or something. I can even fill that one in, which is nice, so you can kind of make it look messy, sloppy heart. Very cool. Yeah. And you can even take your fingers if you really are, you don't really like like some of it, maybe you want it a little more smushy and you can just kind of smush it in. Actually, that's kind of turning out nicely. Just by smushing it, see now the image is coming through a little bit better. And that's, this is the fun of it. You can just play. You can totally play with this product. It's not, um, it's not hard to use. I love these, these big fat markers. They're just like, you know, giant felt tip markers, but for fabric. And, you know, you can just take them and, and write wherever you want to. And I'm gonna take it right here. And so that's the bottom of the crown. Oh, that's kind of cool. That came out really thick. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. And you can just write like um, Sylvia, and then here's the heart. Oh, I like that. Yeah, there you go. A little, that yellow's nice. Maybe you could put like a piece on here. That would maybe be cool. Okay. I could use the stencil. I think what I'll do is just kind of run over it this nice flat tip on it so it's like it it's easy to um, spread yeah and I'm just gonna make some areas thick or thin so it just sort of has different texture let's see what's happening down there cool ah look at that it's a completely different feel to it so it's a lot of different textures on yeah. there mm-hmm very different texture very simple t-shirt and pillow project using these lovely fashion graffiti starter kit um, and products by Tulip. And for a cool look, you can also do your own pillowcases. These are a couple I did. And I just kind of did a freeform thing, no rhyme or reason, just have fun with it. This one has a love theme and this one has my name. And these also were using, these were using the Tulip one step dies along with the graffiti products so you know if you have a plan go for it like do a color scheme thing but also if you want to just have fun with it